this video I'm going to show you how to stream your uh, PSP emulator or some of your PSP games um, onto your shield without a router. So if you don't have a Wi-Fi router and you just have a laptop with a pretty basic GPU like uh, Intel 4000, <coughs> as long as the processor is good, this has an i5 processor, this is a Vio Duo 11. Uh, it has a basic Intel GPU. So, <coughs> some things you need are you need Splashtop THD, which I have over here. Splashtop THD. It's been installed. You have to sideload this app. And once you have that, you're good to go. Um, now, another thing you need is you need a way to make a Wi Fi hotspot. So, as long as your laptop has. Uh, it has what basic like a Wi-Fi card you can make a Wi-Fi hotspot now in this Sony it's a little bit easier because I can just go to my network settings and see it says network sharing over here I don't know if you can read it but it basically lets you make a hotspot so I can directly connect any of my device t devices to this device and use its internet or as a wireless LAN I don't need internet for this so I've just made a hotspot I've clicked it on. Um, an alternative to this would be you could use a virtual Wi-Fi hotspot. You could find a bunch of things like that online. You can download it. <coughs> so once you have that on, you go to your Wi-Fi. Now I have connected this to my PC. So um, it's a I've connected this to my PC. Uh, it shows only 24 MBS here, but it can go much higher than that because this is a it has a high high end wireless LAN card. But even a basic one would do because you're streaming like an emulator. I'm just giving you a demo of emulators because I wouldn't recommend playing PC games on it, although you could. So now I'm going to click on Splashtop THD. Just loading and there you go now I'm connected to my PC I'm not using uh, a router at all this is directly connected to my PC and to give you an idea of the speed it's quite good let me lower down the brightness a bit of the screen so you can see better Okay, so it's quite good. And now I'm going to start my emulator. So I'm using the PP, SSPP, the latest version. And this is my copy of God of War. I own a copy of God of War. So this is an ISO of uh, my copy. And I'm going to load this game. I'm going to load a state. One thing I forgot to mention. Now, once you're inside your emulator, you want to be able to use your keys. You want to be able to use these keys. So in order to do that, you triple tap on your device and you click gamepad mode. Now in gamepad mode, you have options to choose which controls you want. You can choose Skyrim, Diablo. This is only in the Splash Up THD version. I'm using this because it's easier for some of the people who find it harder to use droid mode, which is a very efficient method and you could um, find that in the forms. I'll probably link it down. So I am in gamepad mode and I'm going to go to game settings, controls, control mapping. So the mapping is pretty decent. Suppose um, I want to use d-pad up. Wait, let me delete this. I'm going to click add and I'm going to press the up button here. See, it's recognized because in Splashtop THD the keys are already mapped some are mapped to WASD, uh, XYZ, they're all mapped so all you have to do is go to this config and click the keys you want and once you're done you're ready to start your game alright I'm gonna load a state so you can see the response time
It's running at 60 frames per second. This is streaming, this is not native. If you try to natively do this on your, uh, on your NVIDIA Shield, it's not gonna work as well. And I'm just giving you an idea of what you could do. Uh, suppose you have a portable laptop and you just wanna stream your games and play it on your Shield. And this is not only for the Shield, this could work on pretty much any Android fart smartphone. Man, I said fart. <laughs> Okay, smartphone. So, yeah. Let's give you an idea of that. I'm gonna make a couple of more videos about this. Um, in case somebody's interested and wants to see something else, let me know. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.